Hey, what's going on, guys? My name is Dale, and welcome to another episode of Jungle Heat. Um, this one's not going to be real. I guess I can talk about my base a little bit, but uh, I didn't really do much. But I actually <clears throat> did. I guess basically I did buy. I did buy some gems, <clears throat> so I could add some stuff in here. You can see from my last one. Obviously, first of all, I guess I forgot to say I did redesign my base finally. Um, so I did forget, I completely forgot about that. I redesigned my base, this is what it looks like now. Um, and so far, I think it's, I mean, I've been losing attacks, but, um, they're only one stars. Like, these two are one stars. This one was three stars, because obviously if somebody comes in with 50, 50 of those guys, oh my god, I'm screwed anyway. Um, but I think all the other ones from my old base. But yeah, basically these two were one stars this guy um did pretty good but basically this is what my base looks like um you can see here i'm upgrading my flamethrowers i put pretty much put my flamethrowers jericho's and hornets in the middle <clears throat> right jericho's hornets no jericho's flamethrowers or flame towers and the mortars in the middle um and you can see here, you put some Blackhawks down, two of them, you put two Blackhawks down and you put a bunch of Hornets in, but they all end up dying because of my beast death drones and flamethrowers. <laughs> um, basically all those Hornets die in a minute. Um, this is a uh, death drone shooting at them like crazy because it's constant shooting, it's a constant, it's a constant thing and then they all die. Right before they're about to take out my Jericho, they all died. I was like, hell yeah. <clears throat> but either one saw me anyways. Um, just because it's one of his uh, gunners. Um, but you can see here his stuff died, and then all he's got left are these two black. No, one black hawk or two black hawks? One left. There's one left. Um, and he pretty much dies in a minute anyway. Um, so that's what that looks like. So basically that's my design. Um, so far, I don't know. I just redesigned it, so I'm not sure how it's going to hold up. It might probably going to end up redesigning again, but I don't know. It looks pretty cool right now. Um, it's basically kind of like my Battle Beach setup. This is what I did in Battle Beach. Um, now that I'm done with that game, pretty much just got to upgrade everything. Um, but I mean, the thing is I didn't put the storages in the middle. I know you're supposed to protect the storages, and I put it, pretty much put them all on the outside. And... Um, <clears throat> Doing that though, I was I think it's a little better because um, then pretty much all the troops will get distracted by all the stuff on the outside before they go to the middle. Um, but um, so basically, what I try to do is on the outside. Obviously, this is the middle. Um, I have my town hall. I got some mortars, Jericho's, and death drones in the. And then I'll put the last one right there. If I had a town hall nine, obviously I would, but. I don't have Town Hall 9. So I have those on the middle. Because those are the best um, defenses to protect. And then basically I alternated outside with the watchtowers and cannons. So I basically did um, watchtower or defense, resource, defense, um, resource, defense, resource, defense, resource, defense, resource, defense, resource, defense, then defense, defense, resource, defense, resource, defense. And then I have my clan thing right there protecting this side. Um, so that's why I, I alternate like that. Because when somebody's attacking, um, I don't want them to start going into the middle area. Because um, I want those guys to survive as long as possible. So what I'm trying to do with this way is hopefully they stay along this outer rim. And just keep going along the outside until they pretty much take everything out. Depends on how the guy, depends on how I get attacked obviously. I'm not sure. If it'll work out or not, because I haven't found and nobody's attacked me where that's happened yet. So I just gotta wait and see how the defenses go, and um, pretty much that's that. Um, and we did the clan tournament ended. We got third place. Um, obviously, the next one's starting started, and we're in 16th right now. Um, so we gotta start going again. But the last one we got um, third place. So the top 15 players got um, 60 gems. So good job, guys. I know I didn't 
participate that much just because um, it still keeps happening to me. Whenever I train troops, um, they um, die or like they, they go away after I come back. And that's happened again because I trained two more guys. I trained two more guys so I could freaking... Now they're gone. That's stupid. I don't want to spend four gems on those. I can... Fuck no. Um, so what? What was it? Four gems? Nah, yeah, fuck it. Try to get through this. I want to do an attack for you guys. This is why I'm doing this. Um, and plus I can contribute to the clan tournament. I'm say, oh, basically we got third place in the clan tournament. The person, we were in second. Um, and then the person in third just all... Their clan, they all, all of a sudden just started hacking like crazy, and they beat us by a couple hundred, I don't know. I clicked on it, and now I can't figure out what it was. Now, it was once it's over, it's over. You can't see it anymore. So, yeah, basically, we just got third place, so it didn't go so well. Um, and I know a few of you people, a few of you guys wanted me to contribute. I'm trying to. I know I don't contribute to my, though base that I have on my phone as much as on here just because of the screen size obviously but that's the main reason I don't play it on my phone as much but I am going to start doing that because I do I still keep up to date with my base on there and I upgrade everything I just don't really do attacking on that base as much that's why I haven't been doing anything on there but I do got to I'm um, going to start contributing now that the clan tournament's out and um, I'll start attacking I'm gonna See if I can request some troops real quick. Um, so. Yeah, we're, I will do an attack for you guys real quick here before we're gone. I don't know who's on. I don't think anybody's on. Nobody's on playing right now anyway. It doesn't look like. Um, so I'll do an attack and pretty much that's it. So yeah, basically bought gems and I upgraded. I put two more death drones down and I upgraded um, this flame third level three. And this one's going up to level four right now. And I also upgraded, no wait, one, two, three, four, five. No, I didn't do anything else. That's all I did with that. Um, with the money I bought, because I basically just filled my, um, completely filled my gold stuff and just upgraded a bunch, a few things. Um, and then I have some more left, so I'll do it again sometime. I don't know when. But basically I just want to upgrade my defenses because they're falling behind. Because these ones aren't that expensive to upgrade, so I'm not too worried about these ones. I mean, obviously, upgrading the Watchtowers at level 9. To level 9 costs a lot, but I mean, these guys are still kind of cheap. 300,000. So it doesn't. it's not too bad to get 300,000. Like, I already have 300,000. Um, and I'm actually going to start upgrading this. So, yeah. So now I'm doing an attack now. Um, try to find somebody with a bunch of trophies. A lot of people in the last one said, why did you waste your time on that one base? They had no resources. But um, I basically attacked that guy because he had 30 trophies. Um, even though we did lose the battle, which kind of sucked. But um, So I'm looking at this guy. I just noticed that all his Jerichos are over here. Um, pretty much all of his... This is not... Pretty much I can just come in over here with a bunch of Hornets and... Kill everything because all of his stuff that go for this stuff is over there, and then all the cannons are on this side. Um, and it's 22 trophies. I know it's not a lot of resources, but um, 22 trophies will definitely help. So I'm gonna put a bunch of guys down. Actually, I'm gonna put all of them down on this side because. Oh, fuck. See, this is one thing I hate about using Hornets because a lot every time I attack a base, this is why I say riflemen are good guys because um, for that reason. Because the riflemen take out my guys like like nothing. And every time I attack somebody, they always have riflemen in their clan castle. And just take out all my hornets. Like, see that? They took out all of them. That's ridiculous. This is why I don't like it. Um, so these guys gotta hurry up. Actually, you know what? Um, shit, I put them down too early. I wonder if... Oh, come on, you guys gotta go for them. Kill them. Hornets, you're gonna all die. Fuck me. See, this is why I don't like it. This is why I need troops that will go for anything because 
troops I go for anything I'll at least shoot these riflemen that's why I, this is why I always forget when I attack now I have to make sure I uh, go for the clan castle first with any kind of troops so that way that I draw out the guys and um, see I would have I would have easily do oh, fuck me I would have easily destroyed that base if he didn't have the stupid crap in there sorry about the signal um, god damn it what the hell Hold on, guys. Fuck, it's not gonna go back in, is it? I'm gonna have to restart the whole freaking game. Oh, there we go. Hopefully it stays in there. Um, so obviously this is why I always say send me riflemen. Uh, because they shoot out with the guys too quick and then everybody else says, Oh, these guys are better, these guys are better. But the riflemen are pretty good because if you think about it, um, you can have... 15 riflemen in here because my space right now um, I can have up to 15 troops and the riflemen only cost one sp housing space so you can have 15 riflemen in there and once you get it when somebody starts attacking you you have 15 riflemen shooting at the guys so I mean think about it that way and it will do much more damage that way instead of like a few um, Jericho guys or not Jericho's um Flamethrower guys, oh, I don't know what to call them. they're just gonna call flamethrowers because they take up more space. But if you can 15 compared 15 riflemen to like how much do they take up on the space anyway? Um, housing space is four, so I mean, would you rather have 15 riflemen doing a whole bunch of damage or four? I mean, the riflemen compared to there's they're 16 and they're 90 but I mean I don't know I'd rather have riflemen to tell you the truth I don't know if you guys would think the same thing or not but you probably think I'm going crazy thinking that riflemen are better but 15 riflemen and they're shooting a bunch of guys I don't know they took out my hornets pretty quick there so obviously you can see that but actually when I'm starting attacking when I start attacking now I'm gonna have to uh, do something different because of that reason because they basically don't shoot the riflemen until all the defensers are gone. So I have to get something that will shoot anything. Or find bases possibly that will um, draw out those guys first. And then we'll shoot them all down and then send in my hornets. Um, but obviously I forgot about, I always forget whenever I attack, I always forget about the clan. The clan HQ and then I start getting attacked by the guys. I'm like, shit. So that always happens. I always forget about it. And that's why that happened. That's why we lost. Um. But this time, but yeah, I'm gonna try to um, plan that strategically better. Um, I'll probably when I go attack, I'll probably have a couple um, sacrifice guys, and I'll send them out and see if anybody comes out of the uh, clan HQ or not, because it has a big, big range. So send out guys next to it, and nobody comes out, then I'll I'll know I'll be good, and I'll be able to finish attacking this base without having guys shooting at me. Um, but yeah, I gotta remember about that. You know, remember when you guys start attacking, remember about that too because um, I forgot about that. So we gotta make sure don't do that. Do not do that. Um, so yeah, oh, I didn't even notice I picked up first place in the um, out of my clan. Um, so yeah, just make sure you strategically do my attacking. My dad attack sucked obviously. I wasn't I wasn't thinking about the clan HQ thing. So next time I'll get him. Um so that way I'll have some of those better. Um I actually happened a couple times this too. This one happened on this one as well. On you know, this one I did from the last one this was a while back but basically the same thing happened on this one and I would have easily destroyed this guy's base but obviously there's more riflemen and every time I attack somebody fifteen riflemen come out start shooting at all my guys so I did that and then I was like oh shit and then I put a bunch of guys over here um, but obviously it didn't work out because they went for the wrong guys here this is what happened here too because I put them down here and then the hornets went that way instead of going this way that's what my plan was I was hoping they would go this way to take out that first Jericho and then these guys would have took out that one but um, they went the wrong way and then the right were shooting at me and it didn't go well so that one didn't go so well um, this one I won, won that one, lost that one, same thing happened in this one too, um, 
Basically, the ones that I won was because of Clan HQ nobody came out of. But this one I lost because of that too, I think. Actually, no, I think I just lost it because poor strategic planning. Oh, nope, yep, there's some more riflemen, guys. So you guys think the riflemen aren't that good. Everybody else uses riflemen in their Clan HQ. So, um, and I think they are pretty good, so that's the reason I lost this one again. I would have easily destroyed this guy's base, but... You know, just do a rifleman shooting at me. So, if I ever request troops, send me a rifleman, guys, because I would appreciate that. Especially, and on my phone base too, when I want to start playing on my phone, on um, the base on my phone as well. So, send me rifleman and anything, nothing else, so I can use them for my defense. Um, because that would be nice. The only problem with this one is since I do have the clan in HQ over here, somebody could just send a few guys out right there and draw my guys out. And then shoot them all. So that's one thing I don't like about that. Putting that right there. Um, I don't know. But, yes. So the next clan start, the next clan tournament, sorry, we're gonna, I'm gonna try to do some more attacks here, but busy, busy week. Um, midterms were this week, so I have a bunch of tests, I had a bunch of tests. Sucks, sucks, sucks. Um, but anyways, that's gonna be it for this episode. Um, I'll try to get a better attack in for you guys in the next live episode. I want to, uh, obviously I don't have a lot of resources, so I'm going to, uh, but I'll probably put a bunch, maybe probably just put a few of these guys down. Probably has a couple sacrifice slashers, like five, and then do, and same thing, ten of these, and put five more. I'll uh, make sure I get some of those guys in as well. Um, so yeah, we'll do it. We'll do it like this and uh, pretty much just see how it goes. I'm trying to make it so it times times right. Um but yeah, pretty pretty much I'll probably try that and see how that goes. Um have five slashers and see if um I can draw out their guys or not. Depending on where their clan HQ is. Um but I'll so I'll try to do that a little better and figure that out. Um so anyways that is going to be it for this episode. And when you are attacking, if you are attacking and you're going for the resources, not trophies, um, and they have a lot of resources, make sure you guys check out to see which storage has the most oil or most in it. So that way you can go attack those guys first. That's what I always do. If I go for resources and I find a base that has a lot of resources, I look at their storages and see how full they are. And I send my guys toward that one first to get the most of the resources, even if I do lose... Um, I'll at least be able to get a lot of the resources. So, if you guys make sure you do that when you're attacking, um, that's definitely pretty helpful. That's what I always do. Um, I end up getting a lot of the resources. Obviously, I haven't I haven't gone for resources in a long time, even though I should. Um, but you know, obviously, it doesn't show all of my attacks. But anyways, that's gonna be it for this episode. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, and I will see you guys in the next episode. The other thing I was doing was upgrading my walls, too. A lot of my walls are upgraded level 5 now. Um, so that's a good thing, too. But anyways, that's it. See you guys later. My name is Dale. Peace out.